Hello everyone, welcome back. In this video, I'm going to show you how to get the Ashen Slumber transformation. I think it is a very OP transformation. If you are having trouble with any of the major bosses, I think this one will really help you. At least it did for me. You have light attack, a heavy attack that just spits fire on the enemy and an explosion if you manually detransform the spirit. So I am going to show you my playthrough, how I unlocked it. I heard that different players have been able to unlock this with slight differences in their timelines or order of the events. and. Uh, in my situation, I actually completely missed this quest at the beginning. It starts in chapter 2, it ends in chapter 3, but I went all the way until the end of chapter 3 to kind of go back and do this quest because I was having difficulty with the final boss. So let's get started. You begin first when you reach the first area of chapter 2. There is this house at the very back with NPCs inside that you can interact with. That seems to be the first step. And after that step, you just continue your chapter two and you're going to defeat two bosses. The first one is the second Prince of Flowing Sands, which is just across this area, past the two gates, down the slope, down the hill. After you defeat the prince, a new area will unlock, a new shrine will unlock just behind it, which is the Valley of Despair. From that point, you're gonna uh, just head a little bit right. There's going to be a cave. You're going to just follow that cave all the way until you reach an area, which is going to trigger a scene where the father is going to summon another prince and you defeat that prince. Now, I heard that some people went back to talk to the rats inside that house at that point to kind of continue the quest. I completely neglected to do that. I just kept moving, but either way, you will have to continue playing the chapter two, finish it and get to chapter three. About 20% into chapter three, you're gonna end up in this place and you will start off in the lower level, the lower pagoda. And when you go out, you're gonna see the first cell to your left is going to be locked. And there's going to be an NPC in there that you have to interact with. And what you have to do is get those cells unlocked. And to do that, you're going to defeat one boss. You're gonna continue through those levels, make your way up. And once you reach to the top, there's going to be another shrine, the upper level pagoda. And then just from that shrine on your left, you're gonna see an area, a drop down that you're gonna go drop in where you're going to encounter this boss, Captain Lotus Vision. Defeat that boss. And once you do that, all the cells are going to be unlocked. At that point, you can go back to the first cell and unlock it and talk to the person. Or in my case, I just kind of really kept going and actually I continue doing the quest for that NPC. He has another quest which involves collecting four Captain Souls and he will give you a spear weapon. So I actually ended up doing all of that, which is not required for this particular quest, but as an FYI, there is another quest attached to this. But coming back to this particular quest, what you want to do at this point is go back to the beginning in chapter two, go back to that house and exhaust the dialogue with those rats inside. After that, you can go back to the cell with the NPC and see if the body of those two rats show up there. For some people, the body shows up there, he's already dead, and all you have to do is just interact with it and pick up the sword. Now for me, that was not the case because I did it in a different order. So if the body does not appear for you, the next step what you're going to do is go to the upper level, go to the shrine. 
you're gonna head back you're gonna turn around go back from the inside like i show you here And when you go all the way to the end, you're going to see the enemy, the rats that you're going to fight in order to get the Ashen Slumber Spirit. There you have it. That is the quest. That is how I did it, which shows that don't worry if you missed it, you can still get it. It's not completely lost. You can always go back and get this spirit. All right. I hope this was helpful. Good luck in your playthrough. Other than that, thank you all for watching. Enjoy the game, have fun, and I'll see you all in the next video. My homeland is gone!